Hey there, Valley. Today on the show, we've got a lot going on. Valley Por Vida starts right now. Hey there, and thanks again for joining us. Uh, I, I'm your host, Danielle Bonda. Well, Think Pink is a special South Texas Health System series of events designed to educate the community about early warning signs of breast cancer and the critical importance of early detection while empowering women to prioritize their mammo health. Now, during Breast Cancer Awareness Month this October, their facilities will be providing mammograms at a reduced price, and our team went ahead and dropped by one of their locations to learn all about it. Here's today's Health Check segment. I'm Tom Constantineda. I'm the System Director of Marketing and Public Relations for South Texas Health System. And we're talking about Breast Cancer Awareness Month. It's coming up this October. It's Breast Cancer Awareness Month. It's an important time for women's health. Um, Breast Cancer uh, Month for South Texas Health System. Um, this year we are doing the Think Pink campaign. It's our second year where we launched this program and it includes events, activities, and programs that are all geared towards making sure that women are paying attention to their mammal health. So um, Breast Cancer Awareness Month is something that is done across the country, but for South Texas Health System, we find that it's extremely important to have women take care of their health. A lot of the times, women are technically the centers of their families. They're so busy concentrating on their husbands, their kids, their family members, that they forget to take care of themselves. So during the month of October with this Think Pink campaign, it's really about promoting breast health, but also women's health and making sure that they are putting themselves first and foremost when it comes to the health because if they're not around their families will also struggle so um, specifically for Think Pink we do a lot of um, programs um, we have Mammo Mondays so Mammo Mondays is every Monday at our different facilities that have the capabilities to do mammograms we do special activities so we'll have goodie bags as well as um, allowing women to to get a discounted rate on those mammograms so we only charge $55 for cash pricing for a 2d mammogram and then a 3d mammogram is $150 so if you don't have insurance or your insurance doesn't cover your mammogram you have a, an affordable price where you can make sure to get your mammogram we're doing a really awesome parade it's a community parade that's going to go around around um, the parking lot at South Texas Health System McAllen. And what we're doing is it's at 10 a.m., but from eight to 10, we're inviting the community. We have law enforcement involved. We have our staff that are involved, but we want members of the community to come out. If you have had breast cancer or know someone who has, and the chances are that every one of us has been impacted by breast cancer, we're going to do a special parade. We're asking people to decorate their cars with special messages, pink them all out, deck them all out, and then drive around and honk your horns and let people know that we are really making sure that this Think Pink and this Breast Cancer Awareness Month is special for everyone and give that support for those that are battling breast cancer, to give a, a cheer for those who have survived it, and to raise awareness for those who need to start thinking about their breast health. So the environment that they can expect is it what we try to do is we set this up so that it is a color it's colorful it's festive so throughout the month our facilities that do offer the mammograms will be decked out in pink obviously with our think pink campaign and it's just really so that it's a statement when you walk in and you see it you know that pink color really means breast cancer awareness and raising the awareness for for breast cancer within this community and making sure that people know that this is a welcoming environment that offers the tools that you need to make sure that you're putting your health first so if if you're interested in taking part in our Think Pink campaign of programs or activities or getting a mammogram, you can visit SouthTexasHealthSystem.com slash think dash pink or you can call 388-2190 to book a mammogram. We have four facilities that offer those mammograms, so just call 388-2190 and you will be able to book an appointment at any of those facilities where mammograms are available. Again, not only will South Texas Health System be offering mammograms at a reduced price, 
but they're inviting you to Think Pink special events. This uh, includes the Think Pink Parade, uh, as well as Mammal Mondays, where you can learn more about breast cancer screening options, as well as get help scheduling an appointment. Be sure to visit SouthTexasHealthSystem.com slash think-pink if you'd like those details, plus more. All right, and now a quick note from Valley Initiative for Development and Advancement about strengthening communities in the Rio Grande Valley. Happy 25th birthday, Vida. Join us for our celebration strengthening communities across the valley on October 21st. The mission of Vida is to empower our residents to pursue a higher education one Vida at a time. We'd like to extend a special thank you to all of our sponsors. Become a change maker and invest in a proven model. Learn more at vidacareers.org. All right, well, we all know how important it is to keep our bodies healthy, and our heart is vital to keep us pumping, our stomach keeps us alive, etc. But we, uh, most of us rather don't necessarily think about our liver as a vital organ, but it indeed is essential to keeping healthy for our own well-being. Uh, one certified clinical nutritionist, chiropractor, and functional medicine practitioner uh, says that we usually think of our livers as a detoxification organ, but she says it actually provides provides over 1,000 functions for, uh, for us here. Uh, so go ahead and take a look at today's Health Check segment. I want to talk to you today about your liver. The liver provides over a thousand different functions for you. We tend to think of it as a detoxification organ, and it certainly is, but it breaks down nutrients, it helps with absorption, it does so many different things. So you really want to treat your liver well and know any signs and symptoms associated with your liver not working the way it should. Um, it is part of your digestive tract in, in that it helps break down nutrients and it uh, produces something called bile, which not only allows you to digest fats, but it also acts as a detergent to keep the upper part of your digestive tract uh, sterile from bad organisms. So um, bad organisms or any sort of organisms are supposed to be in the lower part of your gut. And of course, any bad organisms should be out populated by the good guys. But when organisms start creeping upwards, people call that small intestinal uh, bacterial overgrowth, cr can create a lot of digestive problems. And at the root of that is actually your liver not being able to produce bile as efficiently as it should. So, uh, with that, what kind of digestive symptoms can you notice? Certainly, uh, diarrhea, bloating, also a feeling of heaviness. The liver is, is on the right side, just below your, ch uh, your chest, um, behind your rib cage, um, and it's uh, on the right side, and you can feel sort of a heaviness or a fullness there when it, it's being a little sluggish. And um, one of the problems I have is that traditional conventional medicine will not tend to act upon liver tests that are outside optimal. They'll wait till they're actually diseased. And you really don't want to wait that long because the liver does so many important functions for you. So there truly is an optimal range of your liver enzymes. And it's not hard to find out what those are and go back and look at your liver tests. Um, if you've ever been told that you have a fatty liver or early signs of a fatty liver, a lot of times in, in the next breath, your doctor will say, a conventional doctor will say, well, we're gonna watch it. And there's no point in watching. You know, what you wanna do is do something about it because the liver is a very tough organ. It loves to repair, much like many parts of the body, but the liver is particularly tough and strong and you do the right things for it and you can turn that fatty liver around. So, um, they call it non-alcoholic fatty liver because historically uh, liver disease is very much associated with alcoholics and they had to come up with a new name, non-alcoholic uh, fatty liver disease because that infiltration of fat coming from not just a diet that's fatty, um, but a diet that's, that's toxic and it's eating not good real food um, is, is then compromising your liver function, which is something you, as I said, you want to jump on right away. Uh, you can have an intolerance to fatty foods. Same boy, I eat fatty foods and they just kind of just sort of sit there. And it doesn't have to be 
um, a bad fat, like you ate a whole bag of potato chips, it could be some nuts, it could be avocado, it could be a good fat, but you still feel that, wow, it's not digesting. So that's definitely a sign um, that your liver might not be functioning uh, as well as it should. And then there's fatigue. So you're tired, uh, dark circles under your eyes is, is another one, uh, weight gain or weight loss. So either one actually uh, is associated with it. And then there's also fluid, fluid retention. So your, your rings are tight on your fingers. Uh, you take off your socks at night or you look at your ankles and they're swollen. Um, your body holds on to fluid as a protective mechanism to dilute toxins. And so it's holding on to that fluid for a reason, but you want to take that to heart and reduce that toxicity level or reduce that burden on your liver so it can detoxify. Um, skin conditions is another one, whether it's acne or eczema, super dry skin, just, just rat, rashes and little patches on your skin that are not normal. Uh, your skin should be soft and smooth and uh, have no imperfections as far as, as rashes or bumps and things like that. We hope you can keep in mind this helpful information and remember the four signs that she says uh, are a sign that your liver may be in trouble. As always, feel free to visit root cause clinics, uh, medicalclinics.com rather for more health check tips. All right, well, it's time now to take a commercial break and then we've got to look at your local weather updates, but be sure to stay tuned because Valley Por Vida will be back and we'll have info on a theater setup that can be uh, that can be fixed right in your backyard. And if that sounds fun, then stay tuned for more Valley Por Vida after the break. <laughs> 